Hey Royals! Hi, my name is Sura Abdi. And I'm Nia Bickham. And, and this, this is Royals Weekend Review. Hey Nia, do you like building? Yeah, let's take a look at Builders Club. Who are you and what is this club? I'm Mr. Delian and this is the Builders Group. So this club is about uh, just finding models to build, plastic, whatever they may be. The example's over there on the side. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> what days do you guys meet? We meet every Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30. What room are you in? E203. Let's congratulate this month's Student of the Month winners for the category of Humble. Congratulations! 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 Huda, what would you do in a case of a zombie apocalypse? I would hide. Now, let's take a look at our royal's response. And I'd put like three tablespoons of garlic powder, three tablespoons of onion powder, some minced garlic, like a, some Johnny seasoning salt, uh, black pepper. Um, I'd mix it with like a little bit of sesame oil and I'd eat it all so I was well seasoned when I died. Take is take action. First of all, I would go and I would get all my friends and then we would get into a, a van that I found on the side of Home Depot and then we would take that van to the rainforest uh, across the Puget Sound. The airport. Go ahead, and then um, we, at least to the airport and then we take a flight and then when, uh, when we uh, find out we don't have enough space, we have to throw someone out. Why are you both looking at me? Costco, close all the doors. That's what I do. I would too. Right? They got everything. You got a bed, a tent, you got all the food. <laughs> you got cars, I mean, whatever. Make sure I have Twinkies. You get it? <laughs> Phone, food, boat. And guns. Because you know them guns is what you really need. Hey Nia, do you know what Saga is? Actually, I do. It's Sexuality and Gender Alliance. Now let's take a look at it. Hi there, my name's Ganata and I'm in charge of Saga or the Sexuality and Gender Alliance and my pronouns are they, them. So the Sexuality and Gender Alliance, or Saga for short, is essentially a place where uh, both LGBTQ plus students and their allies can come and gather as well as learn about the LGBTQ community and also just to socialize and just sort of meet people who are like them or support the same causes. So some topics that we cover in Saga include uh, one of the biggest or maybe not biggest but one of the most 
iconic events in LGBTQ American history, which is the Stonewall Riots, as well as back in December, which was uh, HIV and AIDS Awareness Month, which is a uh, autoimmune disease that greatly affects the LGBTQ community. Uh, if you want to know more about Saga or just when our next meeting is, feel free to contact uh, the club at kentmeridian.saga, that's S-A-G-A, -A, at gmail.com, or you can use, contact uh, me through my school email, which is sn33999 at kent.k12.wa.us. Uh, Saga is every other Friday in the second floor of the main building in room 222 and it starts at 2.30 and due to spring sports instead of ending an hour later at 3.30 we will be cutting it short to just three. Last but not least let's go ahead and take a look at our KM cheerleaders. KMHS. What is your name? Mia Hernandez. Celine Bobella. Why should people join cheer? Um, people should join cheer because it's a really fun experience. I feel like people tend to have a lot of misconceptions about what being a cheerleader is like, but when you join the team, you learn a lot about like what it takes to be a part of a team, what it takes to be focused and motivated, and a lot about dedication and commitment. Like I think cheer is the biggest thing I've ever committed to, but it also has been the most fulfilling experience of my life, and I'm forever grateful for that. What grade are you in? I'm a junior. What is your favorite part? My favorite part of cheer is getting to meet new people every year and getting close to my teammates. What is your name? Uh, Erica or Dr. Wolfskill or Coach E. I have many names. I am one of the assistant coaches for Kent Meridian Cheer and the co-director of the program. What is your name? I'm Coach Jay. How many years have you been coaching? I've been coaching now for uh, 15 years, 16 seasons. I'm the head coach for our winter squad and the assistant coach for our comp team. What is your favorite part about coaching? One of my top ones is at nationals every year when we show up and all of the girls see their friends and from other states and other teams. And then there's that moment where we're doing our Royal Power chant and the entire arena starts chanting with the girls and they just have that look of, I'm a part of something huge and that's that means a lot. But I what is your favorite part? My favorite part is being able to look at our kids on the mat and see a sense of accomplishment in their eyes. When they know they've succeeded, when they've done something that maybe they've never been able to do before and they're proud of that, that's my favorite part, absolutely. I also love too when the season ends, <laughs> not because it's over, but because I see these seniors that leave and I know I've given them everything they can to be successful when they leave the program. And I just hope one day that they'll come back and uh, share how they've used what they've learned in our program. So, and that's happened a lot. And yeah, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> yeah. I heard you were a cheerleader here. Why did you decide to come back? Yeah, I was a cheerleader at KM for three years and I came back because um, I just feel like the program gave a lot to me when I was in it and I grew a lot and I wanted to be a part of the program that helps grow future kids. What is your name? I'm How long have you been cheering? Uh, three years. What is your favorite part about cheer? Um, it's fun, you get to meet new people, and it really pushes you to your limits. What is your name? My name is Jazlyn Gomez. What grade are you in? I'm a senior this year. I've been cheering for four years for the school and eight outside of the school. <laughs> what is your favorite part about cheer? My favorite part about cheer is coming and meeting all the new people and being able to um, set an example sometimes and learn new, learn new skills. They should join cheer because you learn life skills and skills in general. And it's a really fun time and it gives you something to do after school if you don't have anything to do. So, you know, if you want something to do every Tuesday and Wednesday here from 3 to 8, 5.30. If you're not busy on April 7th, at 6.30 p.m. here at Kent Meridian High School, we are having the first ever KSD Cheer and Dance Showcase. COVID protocols ever changing, messed with a lot of cheer and dance schedules for competitions, state and nationals. 
and our incredible district AD had a brilliant idea to do a showcase. So we invite you guys all to come out and watch us. It's going to be Kent Meridian Cheer, Kent Lake Cheer and Dance, Kent Ridge. Middle school teams are coming. It's going to be an amazing night. So come out and support your KSD Cheer and Dance teams. Well, that's it for today's episode of Royals Week in Review. I'm Nia. And I'm Huda. See you next time. <laughs> Going. Hey guys. Oh, hey, there you are. That's a lot, that was, that was a lot of work. <laughs>